guys welcome back to my channel and a brand new vlog today i'm back with the second part of my sunglasses collection if you haven't already uh, seen the first part please click the link above to watch all my uh, more high-end designer sunnies and today i'm showing the rest of my collection so the second part of my sunglasses collection and i hope you guys like it please um give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and also don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already i'll be uh, extra happy if you do and please comment down below on your favorite sunnies and yeah without further ado let's start and i will show you everything i have all around me so there are like over 15 pairs left so yeah to start, I think I will go with this pair right here. I'm just gonna show you. Uh, just bear in mind that, that some of them are really, really old. So just if they're a little bit scratched, a little bit dirty, yeah, sorry. So right here, these are very cat eye, but they're like a Norman shape. These ones right here, guys, are my very first ever pair of sunglasses. These are so, so, so old. I think I got this, uh, yeah, I got this when I was in um, school, in prep school, so yeah, I think they, they are so cool and I felt so stylish with them when I got them, they are still here, I still have them and when we moved to, to, to the UK, we are, we are now living in the UK, for those of you who don't know, I'm originally from Portugal. Uh, so when we moved here to the UK eight years ago, we brought everything from our home in Portugal and I brought these sunnies with me because they are my very first ever pair of sunglasses that I bought for myself and I don't even know the brand of these guys. They are, called, they are from the brand Sous Le Soleil, so I think in French that means under the sun. And to be honest, perfectly honest with you, I don't know if this brand exists anymore, but they are so old and they are some of my favorite ever. And I still wear these, I still wear this. And I remember they used to be huge in my face because I was little back then and now they look really small. I'm gonna show you. If you have seen the other part of my sunglasses collection, I like really, really a big statement pieces, big, huge sunglasses. So these ones, they look like this perfectly normal and regular so back then these were used huge on my face absolutely huge on my face but i think they are so pretty and i will never get rid of them they are a souvenir they are part of my memories and i love them so much what do you think guys i think they look stylish like this as well i really like this shape of sunnies as well and to be honest with you i've never well i've probably seen it around but um exactly like this i haven't found ones that you know that uh, they are the same and that i wanted to buy so i just wish they could i could find something similar to this just to have something from when i was uh, younger and now that i'm older yeah i really love love this okay so moving on i have this really cute, uh, cute pair from uh, sunny's Sorry, I feel a bit tired now, so <laughs> tired. Uh, yeah, like I was saying, these are really cute. They are little hearts and I really like that the frames are brown, but then the lenses are this burgundy color. They are really cute. These are from Accessorize, and the shop, the UK shop, and um, they are a perfect dupe from the Yves Saint Laurent ones. So you can find exactly like this from Yves Saint Laurent. Yeah. Slightly, slightly different, but these are very cute. Good, a good dupe from Yves Saint Laurent Sunnies. I really, really like this. These were like under, I think they were like 20 pounds. Really, really affordable. And they are very similar to the Yves Saint Laurent ones. So I'm just gonna pop them on. These are some of my favorite Sunnies. Even though they are not designer. And to be honest, I don't really care because they are so fabulous. And I think they are so chic. And obviously they were designed by Yves Saint Laurent. So I think that says everything you don't really need to say much more than that i think they are so stunning and yeah these are really good uh dupe from the yves Saint Laurent sunnies uh, heart shaped sunnies and i think they are so so gorgeous guys what do you think these are amazing yeah so next up i have a pair uh, from one of my favorite high street brands 
and it, I don't know if some of you uh, might know it or not, it's called Jeepers Peepers. So this one's right here, very very cute, they are round shape and they're very similar to the previous ones I've shown you. So the the frames are black, but then the lenses are this burgundy shade. I really like these sunnies. They are very similar to the Prada ones I own in the same shape. So if you haven't seen these ones, the Prada ones, please click the link above and check out the other part of my sunglasses collection, the first part, where I've shown you, uh, where I've shown you the um, Prada sunglasses that are really similar to these ones. So yeah, if you, if you go and check it out, you, you can see. Although these ones are more simple, they are not exactly the same, but I really like these from Jeepers Peepers. I'm going to pop them on and they look like this, absolutely gorgeous. These are very old as well. I got this, I would say nine years ago and they are still uh, looking really, really great, guys. What do you think? I think they are so stylish. I really like Jeepers Peepers brand. If you don't know them, I'm just going to show you. It's written there. I don't know if you can see because it's really small. If you don't know Jeepers Peepers, check it out. They make really cute, affordable designs of sunglasses. And I really, really love these ones. And by the way, if I'm talking about Jeepers Peepers, I've done um, a few years ago, I've done a collaboration with Jeepers Peepers and they send me a few pairs uh, that I previously, previously sh uh, chose. So they just told me to choose a few pairs that I loved. And yeah, I did a collaboration with them and I did a, a blog post wearing them. Actually, I did more than one blog post wearing them because I, I so love them so much that, yeah, if you haven't seen my blog, by the way, check it out. I'm going to link it down below for you guys as well. Uh, so it's www.truepositors.com, but you can also find it in my profile on YouTube. So yeah, I did a collaboration with Jeepers Peepers and they sent me these sunglasses I'm going to show you now. And just keep in mind, I really love statement uh, pieces. So if you haven't watched the previous uh, video about my sunglasses collection, I really like in your face statement, big, huge um, statement pieces uh, for glasses and for um, uh, outfits as well. So yeah, first pair I'm gonna show you, it's the most crazy one, dramatic one that I found on their website and I thought, my God, they're amazing. They are just stunning and I got them. So yeah, I well, I got them. I asked the guys to send them to me. So yeah, this one's right here. How amazing are these sunnies, guys? So if you go on my blog or on my Instagram, you can find these ones in several pictures and I've done a blog post about all of these sunnies by uh, Jeepers Peepers. I think these ones are so stunning. Um, they are not my usual style, but I found them so extra, so crazy with the feathers right here that I, I just wanted to buy them. I'm gonna show you on the side because they are really, really gorgeous on the side as well. So they have this, I'm gonna show you like this. They have this really cute uh, feather-like shape over here as well on both sides. And I think these are so, so statement. And I really like the color, the blue uh, color um, on the lenses. I'm gonna pop them on. So just bear in mind that I don't wear this style every day with all of normal outfits. This is something, you know, to go out in a special occasion for, I don't know, a concert, rock concert or something like that. So it's not for an everyday look, obviously. And they look like this. I think they are so amazing, guys. What do you think? Like I said, these are very for an occasion, a special wear, but I think they are so cute with these feathers right here. What do you think? Do I look absolutely crazy? Let me know. <laughs> yeah, so these ones were the first ones I asked Jeepers Peepers to send me. I think they were so, so cute. Moving on, still on Jeepers Peepers, I asked them this pair right here, and these are so great. These are a more classic shape, but I really love this gray um, uh, shape right here and the metal uh, below. I think they are really, really cute. And the lenses are black. And then on the side, just a simple silver uh, frame. So I really like the style, the cat eye style, and then this, this shape right here. I think these are inspired 
um, maybe from the Prada ones, I'm not really sure, but I think they are really cute. So they look like this. Again, a very statement piece of sunglasses. I think these are gorgeous. Very, very um, different from everything I've seen. And yeah, if you're looking for crazy, amazing, um, completely different uh, styles, yeah, go to Jeepers Keepers. They also have normal styles, more classic, but they have this stunning vibes like this that I really fancy, to be honest, guys. And if you still, if you also do, please check it out because it's, it's really, really uh, beautiful. And by the way, this part of the video is not sponsored at all. I just love their sunnies and yeah, I've collaborated with them in the past, but uh, I'm not now. But still, I wanted to show you because uh, when I do collaborations, I really, really love the brands. I, I'm not doing just for, you know, the money or if they send me a nice piece of clothing or sunglasses. No, I really like um, all the col collaborations I've done until now. So, yeah, I really like the sunnies from, from Jeepers Peepers. Okay, so two more pairs that they sent me. This one's right here in white uh, with the Swarovski crystals on the top. I just hope you guys can see, they are really stunning. And they also have Swarovski crystals here on the side, which is really, really gorgeous. And on both sides, yeah. So these ones are again a similar shape from the previous ones. They are not completely cat eye. Um, but they are fit. I think they are super super glamorous again and this is my only pair of white sunglasses well white frames and I think they are so cool I'm gonna pop them on they look like this and again these are uh, very um, overstated uh, overstated maybe it's not the best word they are very dramatic uh, shades so I would think about what I would wear uh, with these. Obviously, they don't match every single piece or outfit I have in my closet. For example, what I'm wearing now, I don't really think they match very well, but with some other things, I think they are amazing. So you need to uh, choose very well what you're wearing with this statement gorgeous pieces. But if you do it right, they will look stunning and amazing, yeah. So yeah, check out my Instagram and my uh, website and you can see all of these styles um, styled uh, with outfits and they are so gorgeous. Again, from Jeepers Speepers. Okay, so the final style from Jeepers Speepers that I got are these ones right here. They are really, really sporting, uh, sporty and big. So these look like race car um, sunnies. And they were very in fashion a few years ago. So I did this collaboration um, seven or eight years ago. And mm, yeah, seven or eight years ago, I think. And yeah, this, this came also with that collaboration. I asked for them because I thought they were so glamorous, so amazing. And I think something like this is now in style, like this huge sunnies. So I'm just gonna show you how they look inside. I think they are really, really glam. And again, I'm gonna pop them on, but they don't really match what I'm wearing. They are more sporty, so I'm just gonna pop them on so you guys can see. They are huge and I really love them. They're a little bit big for my face, to be honest with you, but I don't care. I think they are so extra, so glam and very sporty. So I would wear this with some uh, sporty outfits. And they also look like ski uh, sunnies, you know, that, that style. I think they are really, really, really fun and crazy. What do you think, guys? Really, really crazy. I really like them. Yeah, so that was my Jeepers Peepers as Sunnies. And right now, I still have a lot to show you. Right now, I'm going to show you my um, Aviator style Sunnies. So I was never a huge fan of Aviator uh, sunglasses. I don't know why. It's probably not my style not my vibe i really like to see them on other people i think they look amazing if they are properly styled with the right types of, of pieces but they were not my go-to style um if, and if you've seen the previous video about my uh, first part of my uh, sunglasses collection you can see that it's not my vibe at all but i got a few when uh, a few years back they were in style and everybody was was getting aviators and i also got 
I still like them, but mainly I wear them on a holiday and by the beach, by the pool, something like that. It's not very everyday piece for me, to be honest with you. Although I think they are amazing and they look amazing in a lot of people, but it's not really my vibe. And also, I think at the time I got this, I, I, I'm still following her. I follow this uh, amazing influencer called We Were What. And she has a ton of aviator sunglasses and they look so amazing on her, honestly. And I was completely influenced by her and I got some sunnies as well of this shape. But they are, they are not my style. So take this with a pinch of salt. So first ones I'm going to show you are by Key. So they look like this, mirrored sunnies and they are aviator style. The color is an orangey... Um, greenish color which i think is really really nice and i got this from key you see the brand over there key i got them at top shop now top shop is uh, top, top shop is closing unfortunately but i got this at top shop you could still get them in other in other stores and i think they are super super cute and these ones are around 50 uh, 50 pounds so they weren't that cheap but they weren't very expensive either so i'm gonna pop them on and they look like this. I I don't know what to say, what to tell you. Honestly, this is not my vibe. I, I like them, you know, maybe with completely different outfit and com completely different style. But for me, they are more like sun and the beach and that sort of thing. And yeah, not for every day. Um, I still wear them sometimes, but uh, yeah, it's not the ones that I go to every day. I still like them, although they are really, really cute. Yeah, so these ones are from Kimi. And I'm going to organize a little bit here because now this is a mess. More aviators. I got these ones right here. Let me see what brand these are because I don't remember. Oh my god, I have absolutely no idea what these ones, where these ones are from. Maybe here, let me see. No absolutely no idea i have a feeling that these are from new look but yeah i don't know these are really pretty guys these are pink aviator shades how gorgeous is that that color they're also mirrored which i really love on aviators and by the way uh, i'm saying that oh aviator is not my style i really love a man in aviator sunglasses so my husband he has a few pairs of sunglasses. He's not crazy about sunglasses like I am, but he has a few pair. Uh, he has mainly sunglasses that I've given him. So yeah, he's not like, let's go shopping. It's not very much like that I am. But yeah, I got him a pair of uh, aviator sunglasses from the brand um, Ray-Ban. So the most classic brand for aviators. And they are... Um, aviator style and they are mirrored and they are gray and i think he looks amazing with them honestly i think he's the sexiest ever with those shades uh pff, just disclosure <laughs> okay so this one's right here pink ones are so cute and i'm gonna pop them on they look like this and i think they are fabulous but maybe for someone else or if i'm wearing something different uh completely different but yes, um, I've seen people that look ugh, absolutely crazy amazing with this type of sunglasses. And yeah, I wanted to buy for me, but I don't think it's my vibe. Let me know, guys. Comment down below. Let me know what you think. And yeah, another pair of aviators, because obviously I had to try a few pairs to see if it was my vibe or not. I got um, these ones right here. So these ones are still aviator shape. They are not mirrored. They are in this really cute yellow brownish color, which I really like. And they are from... Uh, they are from Key as well. So the same brand as Key Australia. The same brand as these ones right here. And they are really cool. I think these ones are really, really cool. Um, yeah, I'm going to pop them on. And they look like this. So yeah, they look like the old style sunnies you would wear in the 60s. You remember that? And yeah, it's so fun. My vibe once again, I like them, but they're not my favorite. So I don't wear this for a long time. 
Okay, guys, so let's organize a little bit more and see what I have left to show you. So not much left now. And I'm going to see this one's right here. Okay, I have this pair right here. I'm going to show you. This is a black pair of sunnies that I can't remember where I got, guys. Uh, they just, I just like them. I think they are cute. I like the shape, and I have absolutely no idea what's the brand. Oh, I found it. Sorry, <laughs> I found it. it. They are from Monkey, very affordable uh, brand. It's written there. You can you can see. They are from Monkey, and um, I imagine these were very affordable from Monkey, and I really like the shape. And I got these two or three years ago, I think. I'm gonna pop them on. They look like this. I think they are cute. And yeah, I can wear this a lot. Although they are not designer and they are very affordable. Um, I think I really, really like them because they are really black, which is something I really like. You can't really see the eyes with this. You can see just a little bit. And I think they are very, very mysterious and uh, yeah stylish i think i really like these ones guys and to be honest with you i'm trying these sunnies on and i'm thinking hmm, i might use this again i might, might wear them again and yeah these ones are really cute from monkey okay more styles i have this one right here i'm just gonna check where are they from sorry can, some of them are so old that i have no idea where they're from where i got them these ones right here are from new look and again, a different style. These ones are um, a roundish uh, um, lenses and they are also mirrored. And I really like this uh, brown tortoise shell um, uh, color right here. And on the side, they are gold and a little bit of tortoise shell also on the side. So they are new look and I got this uh, I think seven or eight years ago when I first came to the UK so I'm just gonna pop them on they look like this again not my favorite sunglasses ever but yeah when I got them I liked them and I thought they looked good so yeah I got them what do you think guys please comment down below let me know what you think um, yeah so I would never uh, throw away sunglasses, even though they were like one pound. I don't care. I really like to keep these for, um, you know, just as a souvenir, as um, to remember how, uh, what I used to wear. And I really, you know, like to keep sunglasses and I'm not gonna throw them out just because I'm not wearing them. And you never know, in a few years, I might want to wear them again. I might, um, they might go back in fashion and I might, you know, like to wear them again so yeah these ones are from new look so moving on hmm. i have these ones right here let me see uh, okay these ones are very old guys i'm just going to show you like this these are, are from a brand called tahari i don't even remember where i got them this was a, a really really long time ago i'm not going to say any year because i have no idea um, I remember they are very old and the brand is this one right here, Tahari. Um, these were affordable, I remember they, they were not expensive and they remind me a little bit of Prada sunglasses. So yeah, just simple sunnies uh, with a regular normal shape. I really like this detail, gold detail here and I like the thick frame. So I'm going to pop them on. They're a bit loose, just you can see that straight away bit loose but I like them they're cute what do you think guys let me know what do you think they look like I think they're okay actually to be honest with you I'm popping this this sun is on and I'm thinking hmm, why haven't I worn this in such a long time because they actually look really good and I keep going for the same ones Prada Dolce Versace the, the more uh, high um, designer styles and to be honest with you I really like these the Hari ones and I have no idea uh, if it's, it's probably a very affordable, cheap brand, but I don't want to offend anyone. Sorry, I said cheap, but a affordable brand, which is perfectly fine. I have nothing against affordable brands. 
and with that in mind I'm gonna show you a pair of Primark ones because you know no collection is complete without Primark and I'm sorry for those people who don't like Primark they think it's awful and it's you know exploitation and to be honest with you I don't really know much about that and maybe I should uh, inform myself about that but here in the UK we have Primark and there is in other countries and they are so affordable and sometimes you know you just you just end up and, and buying uh, things right there and I saw these ones right here and they were so cute they are cat eye I think these were under five pounds I really like the red frames and the um, dark green uh, lenses and I think they are super super cute and yeah, they are very like elongated shape, which is one of my favorites and I really like them. I'm going to pop them on for you guys. What do you think? I really like these ones by Primark. What do you think? Let me know. I don't think they look cheap at all. I think they look stylish and cute. And I have them for, I don't know, six or seven years now. And yeah, I really like them and they are from Primark. Okay, moving on, I have this one's right here, just going to show you, this is a star that was in fashion like five or six years ago, uh, for sure you, you, you recognize, so it was like very very straight over here and then round in the bottom, I think there are memes with this, with cats you wearing this type of, of sunnies and I got this and I don't remember where are they from. And I can't see a brand anywhere, so sorry. I don't remember where this is from, but I'm gonna pop them on. They look like this. Not my favorite. <laughs> to be honest with you, until now, I think these were my least favorite. They are too big. I don't really like them, honestly. I think I look weird. What do you think? Comment down below. Please be kind. <laughs> but yeah, this I don't really like that much, but I'm not gonna get rid of them, like I said. Okay, moving on. This one's right here. I'm just trying to see what brand they are because I don't know. Ooh, this. These are Ray-Ban, guys. Very old fashion style. So they're like round, as you can see, round, round shape. And they are a gray tortoise shell. Just gonna show you on the side. And these are um, Ray-Ban, very old. And I think these were my mom's, guys, and I don't know how, but I stole them from her. And I think this was a really long time ago. I was really young, to be honest with you. I don't think they would fit me now, but let's let's try. Yeah, definitely not made for me. They don't l really look nice, in my opinion. Yeah, I, I don't really like them, but yeah, I think I stole them from my mom, so I can't really complain, can I? Okay, almost there, almost at the end. Now I have another pair that I have no idea what's the brand. I'm sorry for the brand, but this one's right here. No idea where are they from. I really like that the frames are really slim and they remind me of 60s sunglasses. I really like the color of the lenses. It's like a soft pink burgundy color and I'm gonna pop them on. They look like this. I like them guys, what do you think? I think, yeah, they look like 60s sunnies. Very transparent, so you can see the eyes very well. Um, they are not, not my favorite ever, but I actually like them, what do you think? Please let me know, because otherwise I'm gonna be wearing this outside and people will think I'm crazy, just let me know, please. And for the final pair, I have really big ones. So this one's right here, okay, they are from a brand called Loni and they are Italian. I bought this in Italy when I was living in Italy, um, this was like 10 years ago, so it was a long time ago and again they're a little bit old fashioned with the round uh, shape, they are oversized, they have these really thick um, frames here on the side. And they are from a brand called Loni, which I don't really know very well. But I think these were very affordable too. I don't remember spending lots of money on these. Um, yeah, so I'm going to pop them on. And they look like this. Again, not my favorite. I don't really love them. 
they're okay I probably wouldn't wear them today and yeah I'm just gonna keep them for um, you know souvenir and to keep them with me in my closet and that was it guys this was the second part of my sunglasses collection I've shown you today around a little bit more than 15 pairs if I'm not mistaken and on the previous video I think I've shown you around 12 13 so I have in total 31 pairs I'm still um, growing my sunglasses collection sunglasses are one of the accessories I can't live without like I said on the previous video they are my brand I think I'm naked without sunglasses honestly I think they look so so amazing and some of them are like an extension of me so yeah I hope you guys like this second part of my sunglasses collection please if you haven't check out the first part where I have my most the more beautiful ones I would say the more designer ones but also the ones that um, I really love and I keep reaching to wear every single day which is the, the ones that speak more to me and more of my style so yes um, please go and check that out if you haven't already and I would just like to say I really like this makeup I did today so uh, what I'm wearing on my eyes is a blush actually so it's the blush I'm wearing on my cheeks as well and it's the orgasm from NARS and this was the first time I tried to wear um, a blush on my um, eyelids and I think it came out really pretty and it's very sparkly I've never noticed this blush it's very sparkly and I think this looks very spring um, vibe what do you think guys do you like it let me know and on the lips, I'm wearing two different lipsticks that I just got and they are from NEXT. So I have lipsticks from Dior, from Armani, from Chanel, but I also like High Street, like you saw now on my uh, sunglasses collection. I like designer and I like High Street. So um, I also like uh, to try lipsticks from High Street. So I bought this one's from NEXT. I'm going to show you the first one I applied was right, this one right here. And I'm going to tell you the shade. So it's the number, it's not very easy to see, uh, 30A0. And the name is Rose Quartz from NEXT. I'm going to show you what it looks like. So it's this bright pink right here. So I applied this one first from NEXT. And then I applied this one right here. So they are both matte lipsticks. And this one is the matte liquid lipstick from NEXT. And the number is, where is the number? Oh, sorry. Number is 6B0. So, or 6B0. Well, I'll link them down below uh, for you guys. And I'll just look for the box where the names are and I'll just link them down below. And I think I mix both of the lipsticks on and I think they look really, really pretty. What do you think? I think it's a really pretty um, spring uh, makeup. Let me know. Yes, uh, once again, thank you very much for watching my uh, second part of my sunglasses collection. Please don't forget to comment down below and to give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And don't forget to subscribe on the red button down there. I would be extra happy if you guys do. And I'll see you here next week. Bye, guys.